Gideon. Initiate Spectrum Protocol. Very well. Captain. At the end of the previous episode, we, um, you know, we get Rip Hunter back. Uh, the only problem is Rip Hunter is evil. What? He's not the Rip, Rip that we, we knew and loved. And, and, and to prove it, he uses Gideon, who is still loyal to him, the, the computer on the ship, to basically let him out of the brig. He steals the medallion, sends the uh, ship into a tailspin. You might want to hold on to something. So we're crash landing again? Fantastic. And we crash in 69 million BC, which Ray Palmer recognizes as the place where uh, he spent the time between season one and season two um, being chased by dinosaurs. The ship's primary temporal delineator was lost during initial impact. But if we were able to recover the delineator and somehow effect repairs... All systems would return to normal. I'll go and get it. My old neighborhood, after all. While he's leading uh, Maya and Nate on this sort of like Jurassic Park expedition to, to fix the ship, we realize that the only way to find out where the last piece of the spear is, um, the one that's been entrusted to Nate's grandfather, uh, Commander Steele, is to get Rip to tell us. Why don't we just get inside his head? Well, if only that were possible. It is. The Time Masters did it to me all the time. Did what? Cognitive intrusion. That's it. A process in which one consciousness enters another. Our genius solution to this is to use uh, this kind of crazy piece of technology that allows us to go inside Rip's consciousness and to hopefully extract the true version of Rip Hunter out. Sarah. You don't belong here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more from DC's Legends of Tomorrow.